climate change, children, because if the global warming is too hot, there can be no more cacao beans, and if there is no more cacao beans, there is no more chocolate. If you love chocolate, if you want to keep them going, then stop climate warming, or like global warming or something. Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Fact. In each episode, we're going to invite our friends to ask Aaron some fun facts they really want to know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hi Aaron, my name is Christian and I live in Beijing, China. I would love to know cool things about chocolates. Thank you so much. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks Chris. Ah, oh, chocolate. The love of every man, woman and child. It's a solution to every problem, from anger and upset, to happiness and adoration. However, it's only temporary. Chocolate is one of the truly best things in the world. So, today, let's find out some chocolatey facts about chocolate. Fact number one. So, what is chocolate? The origins of chocolate can be traced back to ancient Mayan and Aztec civilizations in Central America. Theobrama cacao, meaning food of the gods. It was prized for centuries by the Central American Mayan Indians who first enjoyed a very expensive spicy drink called chocolato made from roasted cacao beans. Fact number two. Did you know that chocolate is actually a vegetable? Kind of. Milk and dark chocolate comes from the cacao bean, which comes from the cacao tree and evergreen from the family Marvaceae. Other members of the family, such as okra and cotton, this is the most important part that makes this sweet treat a vegetable. And no, you can't eat it every day like a vegetable. Fact number three, there are three main types of chocolate. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. Everyone has their favorite go-to flavor. And my favorite is the milk chocolate. The dark chocolate, I mean, it's not very sweet. I like the milk chocolate because it's sweet and it gives an original taste of like the cacao bean, not the white chocolate. We'll come to that in a minute. Fact number four, white chocolates are not really chocolates. One of the main components of chocolate is cacao or cacao beans, but white chocolate is basically made of cream and other dairy products. Also, they have a lot of sugar and may contain less than 10% of chocolate liqueur. Fact number five, how chocolate is made. Step one, the process begins with collecting the beans. Cacao beans are contained within large seed pods that once ripe are readily harvested. Step two, once the pods are removed from the trees, the beans are removed from their pods and pulp in anticipation of the next phase, fermentation. Step three, Next, the beans must be roasted. The beans are then roasted, typically using a dry roast method. The beans are constantly stirred to ensure that the entire crop is evenly heated. No extra oils or fats are added, which preserves the cacao bean flavor. Step four, once roasted, the beans can be processed. This is usually achieved through cracking and deshelling. These nibs are then ground into a fine powder that is rich in cacao solids and cacao butter. The butter usually liquefies from the frictional heat while the nibs are ground. Step five, the result cacao liquor is then poured into molds and allowed to cool. Once solidified, the chocolate is almost ready to be eaten. Known as unsweet or baker's chocolate, these blocks 
are ready to be sold or transported. Step 6. The final step is to blend the chocolate. The production of chocolate candies that you are obviously very familiar with requires coca liquor to be combined with extra coca butter, sugar, milk, emulsifier or stabilizers and other ingredients like vanilla. These ingredients add extra smoothness and sweetness to the chocolate. Fact number six, growing a cacao tree is no joke at all. It takes about one year for a cacao tree to fully grow itself and produce enough pods to make around, say, 10 small sized chocolate bars. Fact number seven, chocolate can actually help stop tooth decay. Tooth decay is, if you don't know, when your mouth holds bacteria that turns sugar you eat into acids, which breaks your teeth down into cavities. Antibacterial agents in these cacao beans tend to inhibit the growth of these bacteria and prevents tooth decay. If you really want to eat chocolate often, try eating some dark chocolate, which has less sugar and more cacao in it. However, that does not mean that you can eat chocolate every day. Fact number eight, chocolate is not for our pets. Although you may enjoy your chocolate and you wanna give some fun to your pets, it's not gonna be a very fun time for them. Chocolates and cacao products can be dangerous for our pets because it contains a large toxic component. While humans can easily metabolize this component, it takes a very long time for pets to process, which only builds up to the toxicity. Fact number nine. Although chocolate is food, there is threats to chocolate. Chocolate productions are threat by climate change. According to a 2016 report, the primary cacao producing countries of Cote d'Ivoire, Ghana, and Indonesia will experience a 2.1 degree Celsius increase in temperature by 2050. Rainfall will not rise along with the temperature causing lowered humidity levels. As a result, viable lands for cacao production will significantly shrink. Fact number 10, National Chocolate Day. Did you actually know there was a National Chocolate Day? It's October 28th in the United States. Other more specific chocolate themed days are celebrated throughout the world. But for kids like me, every day should be chocolate day. Are you a chocolate lover? Leave it in the comments down below. Also, tell me what's your favorite type of chocolate, black chocolate, white chocolate, or milk chocolate. Leave it in the comments down below. If you like this video, be sure to hit a thumbs up Subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell. See you guys next time. Peace. Mm. I love chocolate. It's so good, this combination. Oh, I can't stop.